So as an emergency medicine resident, I do a lot of ultrasound IVs and I still have plenty to learn, but here are a couple things that have been very helpful for me that made a big difference between the first 20 and the following 50. And the first thing is, this is my ultrasound probe, this is the needle. If nothing else, there are a couple things that you can know to be true for any kind of ultrasound line, and it's a good place to start. One is that one thing will move at a time, either the probe or the needle, but never at the same time. It's a good rule of thumb to know that if you don't know where the tip of your needle is, you're not going to succeed in an ultrasound line, whether it's a midline if your shop does it, a peripheral line, subclavian, other central lines, whatever. And what by that I mean is when you go through the skin and you see something bright on your screen, it's impossible to know if it's the middle of your needle or the end of your needle. So what I tell people when I supervise lines now is after you go through skin, the first thing you need to do is fan your probe until you see the edge of the needle. Then when you lose it, make sure you're able to find it again, either by advancing your needle or by moving your probe to the end. I've been told finding your needle tip is sort of like losing love and finding it again. Losing it, finding it again. Losing it, finding it again. The next thing you gotta remember is if you ever have the urge to move quickly is to resist that urge and hold your breath and move slower. Because in emergency, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Fast is often wrong. The next thing you need to consider, and I can't take credit for this, my boy Pythagoras can, is if you're aiming for a vessel that's about one centimeter down, if you start one centimeter away from your probe at a 45 degree angle, you will probably hit the vessel by the time you get there. One centimeter, one centimeter, 45 degrees, that's how math works. But again, the thing you need to consider, you're not going to, for the first time, see your needle tip in the vessel. If you're one centimeter down here, as soon as you puncture through skin, your next goal, again, is to find your needle tip. That slow advancement towards the vessel is the biggest challenge. The thing that took me a while to learn is once you're in the vessel and you get flash, you should not rely on... When you get better at needle tracking, you should know that you are in the vessel for 30 seconds before you advance your catheter or your wire or whatever kind of line you're doing. In peripheral lines, the needle is longer than the cannula itself. You will need to advance the needle somewhat in order to make sure the cannula is actually in the vein that you're looking for. Again, hold your breath for an extra 5-10 seconds. Walk that needle inside the vessel for an extra period of time so you don't lose the thing that you just spent all this time to get.